Hey, welcome back to the Espresso Outlet YouTube channel. So the other day we took a look at the Pulsar by Next Level Brewer. So it's a flat bottom brewer, which gives you the ability to have a no bypass. So we already discussed that in the other video, but to get going, sometimes you just got the product and you just want to get going as fast as you can. So I wanted to do just a quick tutorial. It's probably the easiest brew method. It's the Scott Rayo brew method. And it's pretty much what I use for most of my brews. Now, sometimes I don't really do it the full Scott Rayo method. We'll go over that here in a second. But to get going, you'll need some sort of a quality coffee bean. I have some conditioned water here. Uh, it's just some distilled water that I've added lotus drops to. So something like a lotus drop or a third wave packet or something like that. Just make sure that you have some decently conditioned water. You'll need a pulsar. I actually do wet WDT. I don't think Scott Rayo uh, mentions that in his. We'll put that up on the screen. Some sort of a coffee grinder. Uh, Scott Rayo does a cold bloom and we'll need some sort of a brew kettle. So to get going, we have our conditioned water here already. We're just going to pour it into our pot and let it start to heat up. So while we wait for this kettle to start heating up, Let's grab our coffee and we're going to weigh out 20 grams of coffee beans. I have this Turin DF64 Gen 2 set up with some SSP multi-purpose burrs and it is currently on setting 65. I found regardless of which burrs that I use, I'm typically between setting 60 and 70 on this specific grinder. So we're gonna go ahead and dump these in and grind. So one of the things in the Scott Rea method is he does kind of a cold bloom, which isn't just the full temperature. So I usually use one of these uh, small milk pitchers and ideally we're gonna weigh it out. So let's tear it. He calls for about 60 grams for this bloom. So let's just go ahead and weigh out 60. This is the one extra step that I normally do not take. So let's prepare our next level brewer. Start by taking the barrel off and taking one of your next level papers. These are really fantastic papers and putting it into the base. Next, put your barrel on and just tighten it all the way down. Okay, so our kettle just got done heating up and with the scale, the scale is set up to show you your brew ratio. So we're going to tear the scale and dump our coffee grounds in. Now the Scott Ray method, he doesn't recommend wetting the filter. You can if you would like, just know to dump that water out if you're wanting to have that pre-wet filter. I really don't find it that necessary on this brewer. So we're gonna remove the lid and we want to make sure that our bed is nice and level. If you need to, a WDT tool or just like a nice shake like that gets it nice and level. And you can see that we have 20 grams in here. So we are going to hit the start button. It's gonna count down and it's gonna calculate our brew ratio for us. So we have this warm water, it's about 100 degrees and we are going to bloom with the valve shut about 60 grams. And we're really just wanting it to bloom for 30 seconds to a minute. He didn't really have like a hard, fast time, but what I like to do is remove it and do a wet WDT. This isn't part of it. And I like to go back and forth rather than uh, swirling it in a circle. I'm probably gonna do about 45 seconds. That's typically what I do, even though I usually use warmer water. So we're going to open up the valve at about 45 seconds. Now we wanna keep this between one and three centimeters deep and it has some markers on the side, which isn't in very good view of the camera but we're just going to keep it between that one and three centimeter mark until we reach our desired output. So right now we're at about one minute time. And there's about three centimeters of water. 
So right now we're about the two minute mark and we're going to add a little bit more water just to keep it completely immersed and moving along. So we want our final output to be about 340 grams within about four to four and a half minutes. Sometimes it goes a little bit fast, sometimes it goes a little bit slow. Uh, this morning it was right at four minutes at this brew setting. Okay, so we just passed the three minute mark and I'm going to pour some more in until we get to about that 330 to 340. A little bit over. So we're at about a 1 to 17 ratio. If you see right here, it's 1 to 17.2. Just went a hair over. That's fine. We can stop it a little bit early. Okay, so I think that cooler bloom did slow down our extraction a little bit from this morning, but we're at about the four and a half minute mark, rolling on to five minutes, and we did go a little bit over. So I am going to just close the valve to stop this extraction. Let's set our pulsar off to the side. And we're just gonna let our coffee rest. I do like to aerate the coffee a little bit and let it rest for about three minutes. If you wanna put it into a coffee mug or something like that, that's fine. Um, just let it rest for a second. It's usually still pretty hot and still really fresh. Before we pour our cup of coffee, I'm gonna go and just pull this barrel off so that we can take a closer look. And you can see how this is just such a unique brewer. So it has that nice, completely level flat bed that is able to have a very even extraction as it goes through that level of grounds. And I'm, I'm not gonna do it on camera, but I do have a trick. So it does wanna kind of create a suction to the bottom of this. So as you flip this over a trash can, open the valve as you turn it, and it'll kind of just create enough momentum to get that paper filter and that puck out. So I went ahead and dumped out our grounds and i like to just rinse it out and if you look really close you can see that the valve is open or in the upward position and i like to just let my pieces air dry after wiping them down so let's go ahead and try this cup of coffee we've let it set for about three minutes or so we're just going to pour it and give it a quick taste Absolutely fantastic. Just such a high yield. Uh, that cold bloom does give a next level of complexity to it, I think. But I usually do a hot bloom. So don't feel like you need to do that one extra step. But this is the Scott Rea method. This is what I see most people doing with this brewer. This is a very stout cup of coffee. If for whatever reason it's just a little bit too much for you, you can always take some of your water and you can dilute it at the very end. So thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. Uh, if this is the first time seeing the Pulsar, we have another video just doing kind of an unboxing on the Pulsar and highlighting its features. And we plan to do a couple more of these videos, so make sure to come back soon. Thanks for watching.